Okay, we're ready to mount this uh, tank bag now onto this and get it into position. But already I've put the base plate on for the elephant tank bag system by uh, Wonderlink. Um, literally, when you get the seat up, you take the seat up. Okay, and in the pack, then you get two replacement screws that are slightly longer, and you put them. Take the old two, the two old ones out, and put the two new ones in that keeps it there then this bait plate comes over the top you've got access for your fuel flap here still and then it attaches by two straps which goes around the uh, front frame by the yoke okay and you can pull them down tight and then stow them away and that's it on pretty pretty solid so this fits at the back there's your fixing at the front now these go on by two uh, straps that's all it is at the back okay two straps there is two straps at the front that you can loop onto here but I just use this book up because it's easy like I say just to get your fuel instead of doing all the straps and it seems to keep well in place when you're on the road so put that on just pull it pull it that's it okay now that's your, your attachment lead or your fly lead okay so that goes from the tank bag itself to the main harness which is feeding it from the battery or the distribution box okay now initially you could have put it up the front here and lead it down like on some older GS's but because it sticks out that much it's going to hinder it with the bars if I do that on this side or I do it on this side it's going to hinder it even if I come anywhere along here, I'm noticing. So it's got to come in this back end, which is what I hoped for and I planned anyway. So I'm going to put it in somewhere around here. And then this can feed up to here. And I'll feed it down along this. Okay, I can even clip the uh, cable, the harness to this. And then we'll go down to the uh, battery itself direct. What I will be doing is putting a distribution box under the rear seat. So it won't affect the can system of the bike because I want to run auxiliary lights and everything else. But at the moment, tank bag electrics, I haven't got that much time. I'm going on a trip to west coast of Ireland. So I'm going to do it directly to the battery. Here's a closer look for you. So there's the two straps on the actual tank bag itself. Okay, which goes to the D-links. And on the front of the bike, I've got that clip okay which is quick release okay and there's your access then to your fuel we're now ready to drill the case so we've got to get a bit that goes that thickness okay so i'm just going to use these different bore kits okay this is a, a 16 millimeter tank cutter which will just do the job for that okay you can if you look it's quite coarse but this is a fine tooth one ideally I'd have liked to have had a fine tooth one but I've got to watch now that this doesn't snag on the fabric it is got a, uh, has got a plastic wall inside but just go steady it should be okay I've decided I'm going to put my tank bag electrics here okay because initially I looked there at the pocket but it's got to miss this strap and it's got to go through a pocket where this is just the face so I'm going to put it this side and then I'm going to drill that hole there. Okay, you can mark it out with a pencil if you want. But I can see on that camouflage where I've got to go. So I'm going to come through there. Okay, that's through the bag. And then I've just got to do then the uh, inside of the bag. So I'll cut through the inside as well. But what I shall probably do now is I'll do that with a knife. Right, so I've marked the inside of there. You can see the daylight coming through it. The fabric's pretty straight, so I'm going to cut through there. Okay. Just do a slight cross. Okay, that's it. Now with that and the rubber then, that's the rubber on as well. Okay, I'm going to trim that bit off 
and we don't need that on it actually came off that's it so we've got them two pieces that's going to go through that there and then the inside will go through the fabric okay and then we'll put that piece on literally it just tightens up get it really tight on that rubber gosh that is tight okay that's it done so there's the outside finish so here I've already started to put the main harness lead in onto the uh, base strap so what I've had to do is for what I want to do anyway I've cut the base plate with a knife two incisions there one and two and then I've put that little base plate on and I've zip clipped it okay trimmed it off I've done the same on there just one little slit zip clipped it just to keep it in place and that's ready then for the fly lead to the tank bag so that's your harness now what you've got left you've then got two eyelet fittings You've got your one main with the fuse, which is a, a is it 10 amp? Yeah, 10 amp fuse. Okay, that's the old type, blade fuse, large. Okay, that's red for your positive side of the battery. And there's your blue for the negative side, for the earth side. So when you've done that seat, you take that off. And I'll get my knife and I'll make an incision into that there okay and then only make your hole big enough just for the zip clip okay right put that on just dress the cable so I make it look as neat as you can and use some snips okay lovely right so now I'm looking now to trace this around the frame and down onto the battery now. It's dead simple and it's dead easy on this BMW. So you need a TX20. Just undo that. Now when you take this cover off, be careful of the rubber grommets. that's safe on one side so here you've got your positive side they because the battery's in there and your positives in there they've gave you a fixing point to put any further uh, parts on leads so I've actually put on here the lead for the compressor so I'd have the engine running and then I'd link the air compressor up for the tire and that's straight off the battery direct so if I pop that off, there's your positive and there's your negative side of the battery. And I can show you a little test. So on your voltmeter, put it to the straight line. That's DC. That's what you're working with on the bike. Black in the common and the red lead in your volt side. So with those, then we'll check this. Will it stick in there? Yes right put that in there put that on the red terminal they are 12.73 volts so that's definitely positive that's your negative and that's a good voltage for a battery good healthy battery so we will be tracing this around there after so what I will do is now I'll put the negative on first So with your spanner, just take that off. If 
If you've not done anything to the bike before, you'll only have just the one main battery lead. But I'm holding that lead still onto the, the battery. I don't know why, it's just habit. Right. Push that ring through there. That ring through, through the bolt into my other one and then directly back onto that there. Find the hole and then just ease it onto that thread. Okay, it's biting now. So I'll nip that. Doesn't have to be solid, just nipped. Don't want to strip it. Right, the negative, the uh, positive side now, sorry. You don't have to do anything with that. We'll get that in there. And push that all in there. Cool. Right, with that in place now, we can still get access to the fuse behind the cover, which is what you want. We can't hinder that point where it slips in. So I'm just going to pop the fuse there, I think. And then I'll dress the wires now around the frame, hide it around there, get the access in there, and uh, we're good to go. So I'll come back to that when I've done it. I'll show you the finished stage now. So we have got now in the tank bag, it charging from there. Okay. And I've fed it from here. I've looped it around that there strap. And what I've done is on here, I've cable tied it. Okay. And I've fed it through the back there. And I've left it high enough because of when I'm seated down. I've clipped it, clipped it with cable tie. I've run it round the back of the bike tank. Clip, cable tie, cable tie, and one there. I've put some of it in here loose because I want to keep that length because I want to run it eventually to the back seat. Okay, um, that's it done. Put the cover back on. And then uh, that's it. Okay, so that is now your tank bag charging system fitted by Givy.